All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And I saw this post over on the Dokkan subreddit, and I decided I wanted to do a video on it. Um, I love when there's sort of, like, like these guys on the subreddit, like, make these graphics and, like, these posts and, like, put, like, effort into making this and stuff like that. And then, you know, we just look at it and then just sort of talk about, like, you know, potential things, like, in the future for Dokkan and yada, yada, yada. Because, like, I know me, like, when I'm, like, like cooking or something like that, right? Like it's it's like always cool to have something to listen to. Like I love listening to other like Dokkan YouTubers sort of like theorize about stuff that's coming. Like, you know, every Dokkan YouTuber has their, you know, everything coming to global in the next four months videos that we recycle all the time and stuff like that. Like what to summon on and stuff like that. Like I always like hearing people's thoughts here and there. Um and it's dead right now in Dokkan. We are we are in a literal dead zone. Now, here's the thing about Dokkan, how dead we are. Just a brief note before we jump into this. Um, in like th three days, like LR Gohan hype's probably going to be here on GP. I think Jiren hype's going to be over there on Global. Uh, the possibility exists, like, like some of us have been talking about it, that, you know, I, I think Global and JP potentially could have like a shared celebration at the end of the year, right? So it's just a slow period now, but li like literally JP is about to explode into constant like top grossing or right there at top grossing level for the next several months, just the way JP Dokkan usually works, right? So what this is right here, this is a post by Yosha320, just going over like some future things that the Planet Namek Saga could get in the future, which is a really good idea because, you know, the Planet Namek Saga, which... I feel like a lot of people, like, sort of, like, the Frieza arc, consider this the peak of Dragon Ball, actually. You know, like, culminating with Super Saiyan Goku versus full power Frieza on Namek is, like, an amazing fight. And, like, me, personally, like, when I watch through Dragon Ball Z, I've done it 600 billion times, I love, like, the beginning of the Namek saga because it's very, like, tactical. The way, like, Vegeta is sort of, like, flying around, like, slowly picking Frieza's troops off one by one, trying to collect the Dragon Balls. Uh, then, you know, the Ginyu Force shows up, shit stomps him. Goku shows up. Then, like, Goku gets his body stolen by Ginyu. Like, there's a lot of interesting twists and turns in the Planet Namek saga. And honestly, like, almost none of it is represented in Dokkan. Like, there is so few things in Dokkan that's here compared to what the, the, the arc honestly could bring. I mean, we don't... Like, like, so for example, there's no T-U-R or up Krillin, right? Uh, there is a Krillin. Literally all we have is this rare Krillin down here, huh? We need at least, I, I think they should make two different Krillins, right? We should get an armor Krillin who, uh, I, I don't know really what, like, I don't know. And then we also need a Krillin just, you know, in his normal, like, sort of like, uh, you know, like Master Roshi, Turtle Hermit, Gi, uh, you know, from the first half of the Planet Namek Saga. Um, then Kri or Gohan needs a, an armored version of Gohan that should be a TUR better. Because uh, for him, all we have is this SR right here. I mean, that's the, the entire fight against Frieza, right? Like, Gohan and Krillin are in those. We also don't have the Vegeta from the fight with Frieza. Uh, honestly, this and this are not good enough for Namek Super Saiyan Goku. Now, this guy's good. I, I don't like him as much as other people, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want people to think he's bad in any way. Because he's not. This guy is not bad. He's just not as good as new stuff. Shocking, I know. But for me, it's just... I, I, this makes him a bit unreliable to me. The medium chance of guarding all attacks after he transforms... And, like, his transformation has a turn restriction and an HP restriction. It is only the third turn, which isn't bad, but the HP restriction can make it not too consistent. But Goku is pretty strong just in base. Like, he's definitely not bad. But, like, we need, like, this Goku right here to be, like, an L a new summonable LR that's a contender for best unit in the game. That's what this Goku deserves. Like, the you fool Goku, like, angry Kamehameha, or whatever they call it usually. He needs to be like, a, a literal, like, top-tier unit that's, like, right there is potentially the best. Um, so, let's go and take a look at the, a lot of different future, you know, Planet Namek Saga units and stuff like that that uh, we have displayed here. So, oh, whoops, here, let me, I want to zoom it in, but not this zoomed in here. We'll, yeah, okay, this is pretty good. Okay. So, a Super Saiyan Goku, um, potential super attack counter, and then potentially an active skill. Um, I mean, well, this is, I, I mean, this is pretty 
much just like his current like rage mode. I mean, it's set like like I, okay, okay. What I think from a Super Saiyan Goku, like again, an LR is potential best unit in the game. I would want again it to be from the very last portion of the fight. This guy, right? Like think of the LR, um, or excuse me, the LF that's in Legends. I want like that, right? Like where he's like you know again contender for best unit in the game. Yeah, like a super attack counter or something like that. You know, maybe some sort of active skill attack. This guy would function as a great summonable LR. Now, I know there's already a million LR Super Saiyan Gokus and stuff like that, but probably the single most iconic Super Saiyan Goku is this one right here. Like that, you know, Prime Battle Goku is not really existing in like a saga. Um, and then Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku is awesome. But, I mean, I think this guy is way more deserving of an LR. Uh, absolutely. Um, okay, so there's a lot of potential units. Yes, Dodoria should get a strong TUR. They need to create, as well, a Frieza Force category. Like, because they're always creating these shitty categories, like Rapid Growth, that's so vague and sucks ass, right, that we hate. You know, shit like that. But, like, they can, like, something like Frieza Force is, like, very clear cut and is something deserving of being a category, right? Like that, that Frieza force would be really good. You know, that would include again, Frieza, all of his forces on Namek. That would include like golden Frieza, all of, you know, his forces from resurrection F and Dragon Ball super stuff like that. Dragon Ball super Broly and Paragus would be on there. You know, all the Saiyans from the Saiyan saga would be on there. Vegeta rap Raditz Nappa, you know, so like a, a future Dokkan fest grade eight Vegeta would be on there. Right? Again, all the Freezes will be on there. Freeze of Force can be a very good category. Especially if they give us, like, Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, which I assume is on. I haven't actually looked through here completely, but we'll see everything we got here. But, yeah. Um, Dodoria needs one. Now, Frieza... There... Dude, there's a lot. Like, I, I've I've t floated this idea out many times of a third form Frieza that would, like, sort of transform twice into full power Frieza. I would assume this is not too far off an, an addition to the full power freeze of Dokkan event. But the more I think about it, the more I really think he would start out as final form Frieza. Because, like, think about, like, I feel like it, it's almost just, like, marketability. Like, summoning for the SSR and stuff like that. Like, they want, they probably want this version of Frieza on the banner art. But, like, I don't know. Is that really true? Because at the same time, it's, like, summoning for SCR Vegito, right? It was just Goku and Vegeta on the banner art. But it's still Goku and Vegeta compared to, like, third form. Like, this is not an iconic look or character. I mean, it's just Toriyama's take on basically, like, aliens from the Alien movie franchise, basically, right? Um, so I think potentially a third form Frieza as maybe, like, a free-to-play TUR or something like that, similar to what we got from the second form Frieza. Or maybe even third form Frieza as a summonable banner unit, I think, would work very well. But then again, like, I, you know, we'd want Dodoria as a banner unit as well. Um, and again, full power Frieza, I, I think deserves like a new card, but like maybe like a transforming because people would say like, oh, we've got good final form Frieza's. It's like, do we? I don't know about that. I mean, the AGL final form Frieza, he's okay. He's, he's good. The STR final form Frieza, he's good, right? The in final form Frieza, I mean, against Goku family, he is God mode, but Goku family is not the entire game. This, like, if you say, picture a Dragon Ball villain, go. This is probably who you think of. This exact form, Frieza Final Form, is probably who you think of. So this guy also deserves, like, top three unit in the game. Like, how good Angel Golden Frieza, the new physical one that came out in JP recently, how good he is, is how good the, a Frieza Final Form should be from the fight dynamic. Absolutely. Um, So we have a transforming Zarbon. Also a standalone... Yes, yeah. I mean, Legends doesn't even have this guy, which is weird. But yeah, absolutely. We need both Zarbons. Um, what actually categories does Zarb... Let, let me... There's the SR Super Zarbon. What categories is he on? Yeah, here he is right here. Let me see. Namek Saga, Transformation Boost, Dragon Ball Seekers. Yes! Dodoria and, like, all those Frieza forces would be on Dragon Ball Seekers, which needs to help. Terrifying Conquers. That's awesome. Wow! So... Okay, so Zarbon's monster form is final trump card. That's another interesting addition. And then a lot of these guys would be on space. Dude, yeah. A really kick-ass Zarbon would be good. Like a transforming Zarbon. Um, again, I understand these aren't the hypest shit ever, but still. Like, again, two versions. Transforming Zarbon and then Super Zarbon. 
I think would be awesome. Uh, definitely should be needed. Kui, I feel like Kui could serve as like a, a free-to-play unit. Armorless Frieza, they're probably not going to make a card. Because this is literally like for two seconds. He begins to transform into second form Frieza. This is like two seconds of screen time or something like that, right? Um, various Frieza soldiers could be added, like the Metal Cooler clones. Are these, these are from the Bardock special, right? Yeah, yeah, right. These are the goofballs that Bardock kills. Um, these guys definitely, uh, you know, yeah, again, like, like, like the Metal Cooler clones. I like the idea. That, that definitely could work. Again, make them do various things. You know, maybe one could have, like, damage reduction, but, like, no attack or anything like that. One could be, like, a support type unit for Frieza Force. They could definitely do stuff like that. Uh, I guess we're, I'm just sort of moving all over the place. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. This Vegeta art, uh, this is a metal. Here, let me actually pull this up real fast. Um, this is in two places. We've seen this in artwork for the 250 million download celebration. So, this year would have been 350. Gohan and Cell was 300. Transforming Goku and Frieza was 250. That, this Vegeta's artwork was from the 250 million downloads. And to me, that clearly looks like a TUR art. That looks like TUR. That, that art is good. Like, that's card art right there. They just haven't used it yet. Um, so I want to pull up this Vegeta right here. I, I was just in my head thinking of where to find this metal easiest. And this is it right here. So, yeah, here it is right here. So that Vegeta's on this metal, and then of course he's also, yeah, again, on artwork back from the 250 million download celebration, right? So, uh, potentially this guy could get a good TUR, which would be cool. Like, we need this Vegeta represented. A Bulma, a new planet named Exaga Bulma would be good, because there is... So currently... Ah, oh, damn it. Dude, there's so much shit I need to pull up for this damn arc. Okay. So, we have this Bulma, right? She'd be on Peppy Gals, Plant Dynamic Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, and Earthlings. Yeah, all teams, all, all categories that need buffs. But if we go look at Bulma, that is the only, like, adult Bulma card in the game, right? So we have all the other ones are, you know, Kid Bulma from Dragon Ball, basically. I mean, she is 16 at the time, so that's, that counts as Kid. Bunny Bulma. And then there we go. That's the only regular Bulma. So, yeah. Uh, considering her role on Planet Namek, I do think she's deserving of a TUR. I think you could easily could make her, like, a strong... Planet Namek Saga supports or something, for sure. Um, okay, so yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. So we got two different versions of Krillin. We need the version of Krillin from, you know, again, the entire first half of the, the arc, right, up until the finishing of the Ginyu Force fight. And then after the Ginyu Force fight is done, then that's when Krillin goes under the armor. I think both of those should be solid cards. Again, maybe, considering this Krillin gets, like, you know, brought to the brink of death and comes back, Maybe make him, like, a defensive unit. I know it's Dende who heals him, but maybe make this Krillin have... Potentially, he could have, like, some sort of heal effect or something like that. There's different effects they could do, right? And he does put up a decent fight against second-form Frieza by himself for quite a while, which is impressive. I mean, Frieza's obviously dicking around. Cause you know Frieza's dicking around because the second he goes into final form, free, final form he insta-kills Dende. Then he toys with Vegeta before, like, basically insta-killing him, right? So Frieza's just, like, toying around with them the whole time. Duh. Until Goku gets there. Um, but, yeah. I agree. Two Krillins should be made. Um, you know, one Krillin could just be, like, a strong Krillin you could use on a bunch of different teams. One could be restricted to, like, the Planet Namek Saga team. There's different ways to make, like, various good versions of a character from, like, the same arc or stuff like that, right? I would say this one takes precedence because we have a built, we do have a lot of versions of this guy, right? But this one, there's literally only a rare, which is not good enough. Um, Saiyan Armor Gohan needs a very powerful TUR, absolutely. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. We got this right here. Dude, yes, yes, this is so, look at this. Worthy Rivals, Namekian, Otherworld Warriors, Earthlings, God, yes. Angel Chaozu, Angel Tien, Angel Yamcha, Angel Piccolo. If all of them are solid TURs, that helps teams that so badly need the help, dude. Look at those teams. We know how badly they need help. And then the, the cool thing about Piccolo, right? So they do Angel Piccolo from this part. Then when they do Piccolo from GT, which there's still no Piccolo GT cards, right? Piccolo has a fairly substantial role in the Super 17 arc. So they could do GT Piccolo in the future, which would be another help, again, for Namekian-worthy rivals and stuff like that. So that could be very, very good, right? 
see so yeah, at 100 these guys need angel versions i don't know if it's on here but we could use angel versions of the ginyu force too that's basically only filler but still angel version like we have our angel frieza and cell and king cold from dragon ball z we, they, we get the angel ginyu force as well that would be good for the ginyu force um category uh as well as like planet dynamic saga frieza saga all that type of shit right or uh, um uh frieza force all right, Dokkan Fest exclusive transforming Captain Ginyu heard Ginyu Force 500 in Japan. I feel like this guy, a lot of this stuff is stuff I've mentioned before. I, I, but, I mean, then again, I, I guess that's pretty common stuff. I feel like this guy is listening to me or Goresh, though. Like, he's, for sure. Because, yes, this is something, like, Goresh has uh, emphasized to me several times. That, like, the whole, like, uh, the Toku Sentai, like, all that type of shit. Like, the dancing and shit like that. Like, that shit's super popular. Like, Ginyu, Ginyu I think, would work well. And... Honestly, again, just judging by how well both Namek... Like, Namek Goku sold incredibly well, but Dokkan didn't actually hit top grossing, but he still made a ton of money. And then Kid Goku was one of the most, you know, ridiculous, profitable times ever for Dokkan. Like, he was just instantaneous top grossing in, like, two seconds. So, I do think that Dokkan at least experimenting with, like, Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu. Um, again, maybe something from Dragon Ball, Great Ape Kid Goku, Demon King Piccolo is all a very good idea. Um, but yeah, this would be a great unit. He, again, th this would be an awesome unit. Could you imagine how good that animation would look of him switching bodies with Goku? That would kick ass. Um, we have an April Fool's unit right here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's a good idea. I, personally, I think um, LR, Super Saiyan, Mr. Satan, or uh, Super Saiyan Hercule, that I, I think is my most desired April Fool's unit right now. But that is a pretty good one as well. Again, because this, this would be... Goku and Ginyu's body, which is not a card, actually. I've never thought of that before. Yeah, Goku and Ginyu's body is not a card. Interesting. So that would be like... This would be like a Goku family unit. Like, that would be so great. I, I would love that. So that's... Again, that's the type of shit Dokkan needs to start doing now. You know, let's go back to the roots. We've got a million fusions and stuff like that. Listen. Listen to me. Big celebrations are always going to be Saiyans and fusions. It's literally how it works. But, you know, it, it, on all the other times, they can fill in the gaps very nicely. That's why I could understand the disappointment with the timing of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on JP. Because that was when they should have done something like Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, quite honestly. Right? Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should have been saved for a different time. I like this. Uh, Kid Gohan, Bulma, and Krillin as like a free-to-play LR. Or potentially... I mean, they gave Goku Trunks... This would be a very similar thing to, like, um, the Goku Trunks and Pan LR, right? Now, they wouldn't be on a lot. See, what, they'd be on Joint Forces, Planet Namek Saga, and that's, like, it, dude. <laughs> that's really all they'd have, because Goku Trunks and Pan got Space Traveling Warriors... But a lot of these versions of these characters in, like, these guys didn't get Space Traveling Warriors, so... They should have. Honestly, I think all the the Earthlings on Namek uh, should have got Space Traveling Warriors. So, Goku, the Krillin, Gohans, Bulma, all should be on Space Traveling Warriors from Namek. I don't know about Piccolo, because Piccolo literally was warped by a dragon to Namek, and then warped by a dragon back to Earth. So, he didn't really travel through... Literally, he was teleported twice by a dragon. He didn't travel through space. But, like, Goku you know, fucking flew to Namek and flew home. Like, you know, he went to Yardrat. It's asinine to say Goku shouldn't be on Space Traveling Warriors, honestly. Um, okay, so, oh, all we have left is just this middle part. Okay, so, a Jason Birder duo card. Yes, yes, absolutely would be good. And a Gohan and Krillin duo unit. What's funny is, I believe, I'd have to re-ask Goresh about this, but I believe he told me once that, like, this Gohan and Krillin, like, from Namek, they were released as, like, a combo unit in Buchigiri, I believe. That was basically, like, like a, a Dokkan Fest exclusive. Like, a version of Buchigiri's, whatever their, like, version of Dokkan Fest exclusive was. They did release, like, a Krillin and Gohan like that. I'm not saying this would be a Dokkan Fest exclusive, but this could be a very strong card, right? Uh, for sure. Jason Birder, again, do need a duo card. Uh, new summonable Ginyu Force, or, I, I think he means or right there, EZA these guys, yes, e EZA these guys uh, is something that needs to happen, I think, relatively soon, and that's pretty much it, yeah, here, let me just kinda, yeah, it looks like that's pretty much everything, 
What else did they not, do we not have represented here? I mean, that covers a lot. There's no Dende. I, okay. Dende needs a, a really good TUR, right? That would help, uh, again, like, you know, Namekian team, a bunch of these other teams like that. Plan Dynamic Saga. Again, Dende could have, like, some sort of healing effect, something like that. He would be very important. Um, especially with the new revival mechanic having been teased. Remember that there's a moment where Vegeta has Krillin attack him and bring him to near death so that Vegeta can then, you know, sort of, like, get a Zenkai buff, right? Um, so that could be a potential revival unit. Is Krillin, like shooting Vegeta and then Dende healing him potentially could happen, right? Um, what else is there? Again, Bulma we got. Uh, we did like Super Saiyan Goku. We don't need like a new base form Goku, but they could give us one, I guess. Like at least from the fight against Captain Ginyu and stuff like Oh, Kyo Kaioken Goku. Well, there is this guy's okay. He's aged a bit. They could definitely give us a new Kaioken Goku from the fight against Ginyu or something like that. I do think that would work, right? Um, Ginyu himself obviously needs a Dokkan Fest exclusive. I guess Ginyu and Goku's body is only an SR, right? Because the LR up here is Ginyu and Goku's body plus the whole Ginyu force. So we do need a new Ginyu in Goku's body. Or maybe awaken this unit twice and give him an EZA or something like that. Oh, oh lord! He's a rainbow orb changer too. Oh, please make this guy good. Look at the teams. So we get a new rainbow orb changer. Planet Namek Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers. Terrify conquerors, please. Special pose and space traveling. Oh, a rainbow orb changer for Planet Namek, Dragon Ball Seekers, Terrifying Conquerors, and Space Traveling Warriors. Uh, Daddy, please. We need that. That We need that ASAP. So make this guy... Again, awaken him to SSR, awaken him to TUR, give him EZA, boom, we're good. He's strong. Um, What else is there? Again, we've got Kui, right? Kui is, is on there. Uh, Vegeta, we don't need a new start, because this is literally the Vegeta that kills Kui, right? So we've already got him. Um, This sort of is fine as well for like his fight against Dodoria and Zarbon and stuff like that. Uh... I mean, Raccoon is deserving of a summonable TUR. Like, you know, Jason Birder, I think, would need to be a dual unit. Goldo is, honestly, unfortunately for him, probably not deserving of one. But I think Raccoon is worthy of a, of a TUR with how powerful he was, the show he was putting on before Goku arrived. Um, Again, we need a third form Frieza. First form Frieza, I mean, this is one of the strongest units in the game. L legit, no bullshit. So we don't need any new first form Frieza. Again, Super Saiyan Goku needs a better one. I don't guru. They're not. They're not gonna make guru a card, right? Uh, the, all the random Namekians on Namek. They're probably not gonna make those cards either. Um, we could get like a Frieza, Zarbon, and Dodoria card. Although that's what this sort of is supposed to be. We definitely could get that as well. That would be super good. Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. But there's still a lot they could do, right? They can make it very... Uh, please get these damn golden freezes off here. So stupid. <laughs> Bring this guy back into the general SSR pool and give him Awakening too. I don't know what they're going to do with this guy, right? Because he's he was just an SSR that awakens into another SSR. <laughs> uh, so it's very... That, that like That's obviously the reason they took him out of the banner pool, right? It's like an SSR that he doesn't awaken into a TUR. He's still an SSR, but he gets a little bit stronger. So, I don't know. I mean, at least maybe they can make this like a new TUR Golden Frieza, right? But, I mean, they got it. They, it, it's, I cannot stand the, go, like, looking my box and seeing all these Golden Friezes in there. It's so stupid. Um, And, yeah, Nail does have a really good card. I, honestly, we don't need a new Nail. Uh, we could use a new Piccolo, potentially. Or, like, a Piccolo and Nail card or something. That would, like, they would, like, sync together or do their little fusion or something like that. Like, there is a lot of different things that could be brought as well. So, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, shout out to Yosha320 for a, a very, you know, pretty graphic for us to look at. Sort of break some of this stuff down. A lot of this stuff, not only is it very possible, it's definitely going to happen, right? 
This Goku is for sure going to get an LR. I mean, that's just too obvious. This Freeze is going to get a new Dokkan Fest ex exclusive, yes. And then a lot of this other stuff potentially could happen. Again, Ginyu as a Dokkan Fest exclusive, I think, is very... I don't know if I want to use likely for that one, but very possible. I mean, you know, if if we get V-Jump leaks and it's, oh, Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, it's not, I'm not going to be like, gasp, I'm so shocked, right? It's like, okay, yeah, I get it. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.